Hi, this is Tali and welcome to BuildRoo.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California, and I'm standing at 3M's booth and uh, with Dan, and Dan's actually going to talk to us about 3M's uh, Solar Mirror Film. It's a new product that they uh, have out on the market for OEM. So, hi Dan. Hi Tali. Thanks. Thanks for coming by the 3M booth. So, uh, let's talk about this product. Sure. This is a uh, 3M solar mirror film, as you said, and it's basically a highly reflective polymer film that's used for concentrating solar power applications. So we have actually, it looks like a, a glass mirror, but it's actually a very, very thin polymeric film, and silver is the deposited onto that, and we use that to reflect 94% of the solar light that hits it, and can be concentrated then either onto a PV cell for CPV applications, or onto a heat transfer fluid, for example, receiver receiver tube for CSP applications. Okay, so why would someone use this technology? There's some distinct advantages over glass mirrors. Oh, the industry has always been using glass as a reflective sub material. Issues with glass are, of course, it's, it's heavy, breaks easily, quite costly as well. What we have with this solution is a couple of different things. One, because it's a film-based product, it offers a lot of design flexibility. Secondly, it's lower weight lower cost, has high durability, and also, it's importantly, it's lead-free. Some of the older mirror technologies that were in the market before used lead as a sealant. This construction is completely lead-free. So what's the efficiency of this product in comparison to other solar, solar alternatives? So there's probably two different types of materials that are important to compare against. One is aluminum reflectors, which are typically on the order of 88% reflective. You also have thick glass mirrors, which are about 92 to 93% reflective. This is about 94% reflective as measured over the solar spectrum. So uh, we actually saw this product a bit earlier when we interviewed Gossamer uh, Space Frames. Uh, where else would we see this product? Sure. Just a comment about Gossamer. We've got a, a very good cooperation with them in, in, in the CSP applications, so large-scale trough applications. They've been a, a great supporter to work with uh, in developing this technology and, and pushing it forward into that, that area. We're really targeting towards utility-scale solar, um, looking at uh, large mirror fields, uh, again, taking advantage of the, of the economy of scale of the technology. Um, people are also looking at it for low X um, concentrated photovoltaics, so on the order of 10 to 20 X, and also for high X as well in certain applications. Great. So where does your company fit into the supply chain? We're typically, 3M, as you know, is a multinational company. Uh, we have uh, a broad technology base that we're drawing from. We are typically looking at uh, an OEM component supply as our, our main focus. However, we're looking certainly at other opportunities as it's such a rapidly growing market space. So what's the durability of this product? That's an excellent question. Certainly people think about a film as being less durable than glass. Um, we've had this uh, material actually out at NREL for the last 14 years and has had shown basically the same reflectivity, but maybe 1% to 2% lower than the original reflectivity, so about 92%. So that 14 years is uh, a testament to the idea that you can have a very durable film. The other thing we're looking at, um, we have um, the part of energy support to develop a hard coating to make this uh, surface even more scratch resistant than it is today. And again, add to the durability of the product for, for example, high, high wind, high desert um, type applications. So uh, what's your warranty on it? Yeah, the warranty we do on a case-by-case -case basis on, with, the, with the customer, so it all depends on the location, uh, their terms of use, and so forth. So, so what's the cost of this technology um, in comparison to other um, industrial quality solar solutions? Right. Our aim is really to make CSP more affordable. That's one of the, the key aspects of to build out the CSP industry in the United States. In combination with the Gossamer space frames with the framing technology and panelization of the film, we think we can... Uh, have a cost savings of 20 to 30 percent over existing solutions in the CSP space for solar field applications. So, uh, you know, I know that you guys don't have so much data because this product hasn't been on the market for so long, but what's your plan as far as, um, you know, once these aren't so efficient anymore, are they going to be going to a landfill? Right. Oh, no, by, no, by any, no means no. I think the real plan at this point is as reflectivity starts to lose uh, over over lifetime, which we anticipate probably over a 10 to 20, maybe even 30 year lifetime, that we'd be able to take a film and actually go right over the existing film. And so you could keep the same structure in place, keep the same installation, and it, it's, a, it's a big cost savings to do that, obviously, rather than replacing compound and land flame and so forth. The other thing I'd recognize on this is that because it's so material sufficient compared to a glass mirrors, that we use a lot less materials, a lot less um, materials go into the actual construction, which has a, a, obviously a lower environmental f footprint. Okay, so um, you were also mentioning to me that this uh, product has a much lower carbon footprint because it's actually manufactured in the United States. I'll say one thing that's really important is that because it's, it's manufactured in the United States for U.S. applications, we have less, less transport. Because there's less weight involved, all the transport costs are also reduced. So in terms of moving things around in the supply chain, we'll have some distinct advantages there as well.
Okay, thank you, Zan, for talking to us. This is Tali from Buildru.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you.